Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kim. So, um, today a patient walked in for a complete mouth series or also known as full mouth x-rays in other parts of the world and this is the periapical radiograph that we took as part of the complete mouth series. And the question that I have for you is take a look at this area between uh, involving number 28 uh, and 9 and you will notice that number 29 is uh, mesially tipped and the interdental or interradicular distance between the 28 and 29 is relatively wide um, and you're seeing this radiolucent area right so my question is is there a space occupying lesion in this area or is there not? So that's really the uh, as simple as I can phrase. Is there a lesion in this area or is there not? And in order to answer that, you will have to evaluate um, the internal structures of this radiolucency and also um, what it's doing to the surrounding structure. So you need to pay close attention to the lamina dura and the PDL space of both 28 as well as 29. If you think um, that there is a lesion, maybe that will explain for this um, uh, distally displaced perhaps, or this appearance of distal displacement, or maybe mesial tipping of the crown of 29. Uh, but if you don't think there's a lesion, what could potentially be an explanation for this appearance? So start to think about that, and uh, let's see, if we can go back to, uh, the uh, posterior PA of that area that's kind of what you see and let's go ahead and compare with the contralateral side so this is uh, the posterior premolar PA of the other side to number 20 uh, excuse me 19 20 and 21 so that's what you see and compare the interdental distance between these two versus this one. Okay, so I'd like to see what you guys think. Are you guys convinced that there is a lesion which may require biopsy of this area, or do you think this is a um, um, this is normal and it really doesn't warrant any other further uh, radiographic examination or biopsy? So write down your um, what you think in the comment section below and like to see what you guys think hope you find this interesting and uh, i will talk to you later oh one thing is the patient is asymptomatic in this area so i don't know if that's helpful for you or not but that was an incidental uh, finding okay well take care i'll see you in the next video thank you